If crime hurts, then justice should heal. That's Fanya Davis. It makes sense, right? Unfortunately, that's not what we're doing. In the U.S., there are 2.2 million people behind bars and nearly 5 million on probation and parole in a system of mass incarceration laden with racial injustices that disproportionately affect minority communities. One out of every 14 children has a parent in prison, destroying the health, stability, and resources of entire communities. This is the retributive justice system, and it operates on the theory that punishing people for crime makes them stop. It's hugely expensive, destructive to the human spirit, and worst of all, it doesn't work. Psychiatrist James Gilligan even calls it the most powerful stimulant of violence that we've yet discovered. People are looking for another system. Fortunately, there is one. It's called restorative justice. It focuses less on punishing the crime and more on holding people accountable in order to heal the harm. Restorative justice is based on who we really are. We're designed to live in community, to be of service to one another, and to nurture and repair our relationships. Where the retributive system asks, who did it, what rule was broken, and how do we punish them? Restorative justice asks, what is the harm? Who has been harmed? How do we repair it? Here's how it works. All the stakeholders get a chance to be heard in a facilitated process that balances the needs of victims, offenders, and the community. The person harm explains how he or she was hurt. This itself is healing as it meets the need for acknowledgement, validation, and repair. The person who did the harm is held accountable in a new way. They're also given the opportunity to accept responsibility for their actions, which is also healing, share their perspectives, and to make amends for the harm they caused in the relationships that were broken. The whole community has a chance to address the underlying problems that gave rise to the situation, and then everyone works together to find a way to restore balance and offer healing to all stakeholders. In restorative and community justice, the concept of beloved community and living in right relationship is key. You're restoring justice and just relationships within the whole community. Does it work? Well, look at this. In the prison system, wherever restorative justice is tried, recidivism has plummeted. In schools, switching to restorative justice drops suspension, improving students' educational and social well-being while reducing bullying and other manifestations of violence. And it costs next to nothing by comparison. One teacher said, every time I used the retributive system, I lost a relationship. Every time I use this new system, I gain one. Restorative justice is justice that works, justice that transforms, justice that heals. Now that sounds like something we all want more of in our communities, so spread the word in yours.